what would you say your strategy is for tackling days where like like some days you're feeling more motivated than others and some days you're feeling less motivated than others what what is your strategy like going into those different days with the different motivations Perfect. So I'm one of those people where I believe that motivation is like the spark, right? So motivation is the spark. So every morning I wake up, I'm driving to my gym, I'm listening to something motivational, I'm trying to get in the zone, right? I'm trying to have drinking coffee, whatever it is. There are days where coach doesn't not feel like coming in the gym, flipping those lights on, especially since I get up at 430 every day, especially since I have a three-year-old daughter who if her covers come off her bed in the middle of the night, she's daddy, daddy. And I'm waking up and I'm going to take care of that. So coach is tired and I don't always feel motivated, but those are the days that are even more important that you show up. And to me, that's more important. Consistency is more important for me, connecting to the reason that the reason why I do what I do to help people get to their end result. That's what fuels me. So there's parts of the day where I'm like, man, I don't feel like doing this. So there's clients, unfortunately, who are headaches, right? Or, or, times where in my coaching where it's really, really tough and I don't feel like doing it, but I do it anyway. There's days again where I don't feel like going out and running in 13 degree weather. My beard's going to be frozen. I have all these other uh, issues, Raynons, where my fingers are freaking white, but I do it anyway. And that's for the receipts, but more so where I can say, okay, I'm going to be consistent regardless of if I'm motivated or not, because you can run this race of I'm only going to do it on the days I feel motivated. I'm only going to be a good coach on the days I'm motivated. And that inconsistency then translates to the people you're leading and the people you're coaching. They're going to be like, oh, well, Coach Reed's not feeling it today. He had an argument with his spouse and his kids kept him up. So huh, I'm not going to get what I need today. So when I flip the switch, when I come in here, regardless if I'm motivated or not, I'm giving people the best of me. And then we can deal with all that other stuff. I can decompress at home. But trust me, there's I do not wake up. 365 days of the year, ready to go, feeling like I want to run. There's days in training when I'm training for a, a, this 12 hour race I just did where I did 63 miles in 12 hours. When I was training for that, there were days where I absolutely was miserable. But my wife plays these games with me and she's like, oh, you're not going to run today, are you? She knows that that's my thing. She's leading and coaching, right? Leading and coaching. She knows my personality. When you tell me I'm not going to do something that I'm supposed to do or that I can't, I'm going to show up and do it. So uh, get it done. Just, just understand that motivation is great. Inspiration is great. I look for it every day. I try to listen to it every day, but it's not going to be the thing that gets you going. It's going to be your reason why. And it's going to be the fact that you're consistent and people are consistently watching what you're doing.